My name is Mercedes Ayagues. I'm a Knight Health Fellow in Mozambique. I'm doing training on how to report on obstetric fistula, a horrible condition that ruins women's lives. Fistula results from a long and complicated labor without proper medical help. For days, the baby's head presses against surrounding tissue. The tissue dies, leaving a hole between the vagina and the bladder or the rectum. The woman becomes incontinent. Urine and feces flow uncontrollably through her vagina. If she's poor, she doesn't have money for pads and soap. She smells bad. She's ashamed. She loses self-esteem. She loses her normal life. She cannot work, farm, study, fetch water, go to church, take public transport. Husbands, friends and family often abandon her. Who are most at risk? Girls who are married at 10 and 12 years of age and fall pregnant at 13 or 15, who give birth, as tradition requires, at the home of the mother-in-law, not at the clinic. Fistula is linked to early marriage and early pregnancy, to the subordination of women, and to poverty and long distances from clinics and delays in getting medical help. Yet fistula is treatable most can be cured with a simple operation. 100,000 Mozambican women suffer from fistula, but only 300 are operated every year. Mozambique is short of doctors, hospitals, blood and medicines. In May, I trained a dozen community radio journalists in the city of Beira during the annual fistula drive when 14 doctors operated on 70 women. Or should we say, liberated them for fistula is a prison where no woman should live. It was so rewarding to report on these women who will now live normal lives.